Rubank Elementary for Clarinet, Lesson 8. In this exercise, we're going to reiterate or practice the concepts that we've learnt already. In particular, our eighth notes or our quavers. So you'll notice that on this page, pretty much every exercise has eighth notes or quavers in it. We will also introduce a new note when we get down to exercise four. Okay, now from the start, Take note of the key signature. We have a B flat, which means that we're probably going to be in the key of F major. And we need to make sure that every B is a B flat. Now to play our B flat, we need to play C, three fingers, and then add the first finger of our right hand. So that new note from lesson seven. Let's give exercise one a go. One, two, three. Now exercise two is running eighth notes. So start this exercise slow. The most important thing when you're learning music is that you're doing it accurately. It doesn't have to be fast. Rhythms are one of the most important things. If you play the correct rhythm, but the wrong note, chances are people are still going to be able to figure out what you're supposed to play. If you stuff up the rhythms, it's a lot harder. So the rhythms are actually almost more important than the correct pitches. Now, when you're sight reading, choose a speed that you can play the entire piece at. If that is glacially slow, that is fine. Just make sure that it's consistent. Your tempo stays the same from start to finish. Exercise two. One, two, three. <laughs> Now this exercise actually threw me the first time that I played it because I'm expecting to hear and to play my typical F major in thirds. When you get to the second line, it actually swaps the combination of the notes around. So normally I would be expecting to start on that low E and I didn't and it sounded very bizarre to me. So practice this one, practice it slow. This is literally your F major in thirds, and it is a great thing to be practicing and to familiarize yourself with. It is another of those scales that I'd highly recommend that you memorize. Exercise three. One, two, three. <sighs> Now in exercise four, we finally get to play our new note. Now this is also a B flat, but it sounds an octave higher than the other B flat that we play. 
So to play this B flat, we need to use our A lever on the front, but we need to add our register key on the back. So we're basically pinching these two notes to create that B flat. Now your B flat is going to sound very unstable and a little bit iffy. So make sure that your chin is flat. Your muscles that you're using are in your lower lip and not the bottom of your chin and open up the inside of your mouth. So drop your tongue, lift your soft palate. This creates more space for the sound to resonate and therefore a better sound. So here is your B flat. So let's give exercise four a go. One, two, three. <laughs> again our F major scale it was just slightly extended by a couple of notes okay exercise five one two three <sighs> Exercise six. One, two, three. Now you'll notice that for exercise six, it is basically another scale. This one here is called an arpeggio. Now instead of using the scale degrees one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, like we do in a major, or one, three, two, four, like we do in a thirds, we actually now have one, three, five. So scale degree one, scale degree three, and then scale degree five. And this is what we call an arpeggio. So again, this is another sequence of notes that is good to understand and memorize. <laughs> 